Hey, it's Ethan at Happy, and today I'm gonna to take a look at the Neumann MT48 audio interface. Neumann is a revered monolith in the world of studio recording. The company has consistently provided the benchmark for superior audio manufactured worldwide since being established in Berlin by George Neumann in 1928. From their first success, the Dictator approved CMV3 condenser microphone to the U47, one of the most revered mics of all time, and into the present with a continued series of microphones built to satisfy recording engineers, clients, and listeners all over the world. In 1991, Neumann was acquired by Sennheiser and the company's range began further to expand, to the point where we're at today, where you can pick up Neumann headphones, Neumann studio monitors, and now a Neumann interface. A whole lot of research and development goes into creating a brand new product, especially for a piece that can represent the quality that the Neumann name is renowned for. So. Sennheiser went forth and acquired the renowned Swiss interface company, Merging Technologies. The Neumann MT48 is essentially an upgraded Merging Anubis audio interface. At a cheaper price point, and instead of in black, it's in a kind of Neumann mic grey colour. Let's take a look. Within the MT48 box, you'll find the unit in a snug fitting travel case and power adapters to get it straight into action. Like the Anubis, you can use the Ethernet port to connect your computer via the Ravenna system or direct to your AES67 monitors. But today, I'm going to be using the USB-C cables for a quick plug and play. Fortunately, when running this thing with a Mac, the interface is immediately recognized. One USB-C cable for power and another to connect to your computer. While I'm back here, I'll also point out the XLR outs to connect to monitors, the TRS outs to connect to an additional pair of monitors, GPIO MIDI ports, optical in and outs for easy expansion for eight extra inputs, and one of these Kensington locks, just in case. And check it out, underneath, there's a mount so you can easily screw it in to a mic stand. I made a quick firmware update to make sure we're getting the latest features, more on that shortly. While it was simple to get up and running and start tracking through, it's a deep unit, so hold tight. So. What we've got is essentially an all-in-one desktop interface and monitor controller that features high quality analog to digital and digital to analog conversion. Based on the revered merging technologies technology, a pair of clean mic preamps with a big 78 dB of juice, phantom, pad, stereo link, and a low cut, which can also be run as line inputs, either XLR or TRS. Plus, on the front, we've got an additional pair of line and instrument inputs. We've also got a pair of high-powered independent headphone outputs capable of pushing even the lowest impedance headphones, the routing within this thing is pretty serious too. You can create four different monitoring mixes to send out either monitor mix and or out either headphone send. There's also an interesting feature here where you can cross feed your headphone channel. So rather than purely left or right signal coming into each ear, you can blend the two so you get more of a monitor experience on headphones if you so desire. The touchscreen does take a little getting used to navigating through all the layers, but once you're acquainted, it'll all make sense you'll figure out there's a whole lot of DSP processing available within the box. For each recording channel, including the ADAT ins, you can have an independent four band EQ and a dynamic section, including gate, compression, and limiting. And you also have these available as bus effects, where there's also a reverb send to. So say your vocalist doesn't want to hear themselves dry, but you don't want to commit to the reverb on a channel, it's easy to add some. Speaking of, if you're afraid of commitment, you can record with your EQ and dynamic effects engaged and have two channels printed, one with and one dry. There's a pair of fans on the sides to keep it cool, and through many hours of use, I still only think I hear them momentarily during the startup. You'll notice there's seven soft buttons on the front and a rotary dial. All are pretty clear in what they do. Mute, talkback, two monitor, and two headphone selects, and the Neumann logo shaped diamond is your home button. The rotary dial is your parameter controller, and as you would imagine, the talkback is super intuitive to use. The mic is built into this tiny hole in the front and has its own preamp section. Now, I've been looking through the options built into the touchscreen here. There is a software version so you can control this via your computer, but I'm preferring to play with it all on the box here. The MT48 will run up to 192 kHz, so you're definitely covered for high sample rate projects. And that firmware update I was talking about before allows with an additional license key for their mission software. You're able to use the unit for monitoring immersive audio setups as large as Atmos 9.1.6. I feel like there's even more stuff in this box that we haven't got around to talking about, but everything you need to record, mix, and monitor in very high quality is most definitely available in this unit. So I have a quick talk into the unit so you can hear the preamp, EQ, and compressor engaged. Awesome, so I've got the interface set up here. Now let me show you how easy it is to switch in the EQ and the dynamic section. So I'll pull up the EQ and switch it in. Awesome, so here I've got a high shelf and a high mid boost. Great for when you're doing voiceovers or recording vocals to get you closer to that finished product. Now, let me open up the dynamic section. Open up the, here it is. Switch it in. So you've got a compressor, limiter, and a gate. Now I've got the compressor engaged as well. 
open up the limiter and I've got the limiter in as well. So it's probably doing about three dB of gain reduction and yeah, really awesome. Okay, cool. That's about it for now. You can see how easy it is to switch between the features. And there we have it, the Neumann MT48 audio interface. After this chat, it might seem a little complex, but ultimately it's an intuitive piece that'll work straight out of the box that you can track with pretty much immediately. Beyond this, it does have a lot of deeper features that you'll discover the more you use it. But straight up, the layout is pretty clear cut and it's got these big soft buttons to ease you along into your workflow. Ultimately, it does exactly what it promises to do well. Deliver really high quality recording and conversion technology right onto your tabletop. It's about the size of an Apogee Symphony desktop unit or a smaller Apollo X4, but runs a bit deeper with a few more options than those two pieces. It's an open sounding unit that captures transients and low, mid and high detail with ease. The MT48 retails for about 3,200 Australian dollars and is available at all audio retailers online and in real life. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you next time for more audio stuff.